Good pay. Be late. Hey, sucker, the same girl. He's come along. What? I do not pay him to be late. Five minutes in anaconda. Five minutes in anaconda. Five minutes in the pit. Five minutes in the pit. Seven hours. Isn't too bad. What's that? An intruder. Stinger one. Stinger one. Virus ten degrees starboard. Capture. Terminate. Nothing's changed then. <laughs> Look who's talking. Have you two worked together before then? Not exactly. Bill trained me. Hardest job I ever had. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Here at last. Has it got a swimming pool? Yes, but it's shaped more like a kidney than an Olympic pool. Well, can we go swimming? Later, when we've all caught up on our sleep. But it's the afternoon. And we've been travelling for over a day, Lucianne. You'll have jet lag. Well, I don't feel tired. I'm glad you're here, Bill. Oh, yeah? We've got a bit of a problem. There's been a flood of stolen art treasures passing through here recently, but we can't seem to locate the route. Any idea who's behind it? Our best guess is Emmanuel Perez. Perez? Nasty piece of work. You see, the thing is, one of our best agents, Frano Wallace, disappeared two days ago. Trailing Perez. Well, I'll have a word with my boss. See if I'm clear to give you what we know. But I'm here on holiday, Dennis. Strictly non-operational. I can't do anything that might put Ali and the kids in any danger. Understood. If it is Perez behind this art smuggling operation, he won't hesitate to kill anyone who gets in his way. Bill Cunningham. So that's why their Maori agent was at the airport. You know him? Oh, yes. British Special Services. So they've decided to bring him in, huh? Maybe he's on holiday. He had a shield and a bunch of rug rats with him. No. He's not on holiday. He's after me. He has been for years. Say the word, Mr. Perez. It's always a pleasure to waste a bomb. First, we must find out what he knows. Then you may persuade Mr. Cunningham to disappear. Ah. So, who's doing what this morning? I want to go in the pool. Me too. I was thinking of exploring the grounds. Looking for any unusual insects or anything? Well, if they are, don't bring them back. I was thinking of putting them in your bed. Don't you dare! Die, Nay, then he's winding you up. Why do you always fall for it? Because I don't trust him. Kiki would like to see if you could find any of her long lost relatives. What? There used to be heaps of parrots here, but the forest broke into the extinction. You better watch out, Kiki. We'll be changing your name to Dodo soon. <laughs> Excuse me, Ali. I've just got to call Sir George. Be right back. Ah, Cunningham. Yes, I got your message about Perez. 
That's all you need on your holiday. Yes, but I'd like to give them what help I can without actually getting involved. Well, nobody better than you. Knowing you and the way Perez operates, somehow I think you are involved. Beautiful piece, but rather scary. That's what it's for, to be fierce, to challenge both the living and the dead. Is that the sort of thing you're after? Oh, yes. It's incredibly kind of you and your family to lend it to me. It's a pleasure. Spirits are very important to your people, aren't they? It's said that some of the old folks of the tribe have amazing powers. Yes, I've heard that. Oh, yeah. They had second sight, could read minds, so were able to kill at a distance just using their mind. Oof. All right, honey. Just went cold all over. Is to bring it out of South America and across the Pacific. Well, there are plenty of islands to string it through. But we're so isolated here, and the coastline's so hard to patrol. It must be using a boat or a plane. Or both. It smells like Perez Dennis. He ought to be nailed once and for all. I think it's time our Mr. Cunningham did his disappearing act. Only, it must look like an exit. We don't want the whole of British intelligence on our backs. My pleasure. Night, Dennis. Look! Who's that? He's got a rifle. He's following Bill. Come on! <laughs>
Christ! They tried to kill me. Uh, get away from me. Get away. Look out, Bill! It's all right, Jack. It's not a rifle. A rifle? Of course it's not a rifle. It's a long-range microphone. What were you doing creeping about with it this time of night? I was recording songs of the night birds until these young hoodlums tried to kill me. You're a bird watcher. Don't sneer, you young thug. I wasn't. My name is Horace Tipperlong. I'm highly respected in ornithological circles. I'm afraid there's been a misunderstanding. Yes, there's been a misunderstanding, all right. Letting young hoodlums like this into a, a respectable hotel, that's the misunderstanding. And I'm going to make sure that the manager hears all about it. All about it. Oops. It looks like a rifle. Don't worry, it was an easy mistake to make. But listen, I'm on holiday here, OK? No one's out to get me. Now you two, bed. Check. Is it what you want? Perfect. I think we better make ourselves scarce today. We're not the most popular guests in this hotel. It wasn't us. It was Jack and Philip. It was a mistake. I still don't like that tip along, Guy. I think you're right, Bill. But I'm afraid I've got a meeting about the exhibition. No problem. We can amuse ourselves, can't we, kids? Yep, yes. Yep. How about I ask Dennis to take us up to that nature reserve at Namanu? Great. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Why, hora, kiatu tagi tahi ana. The Maori song they sang last night. It's a beautiful song. It's about the struggles and sacrifices that people have to make in order to achieve their dreams. Would you like to learn it? Yes, yes please. 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 <laughs> yes, you too, Kiki. <laughs> okay, here's the first bit. Why hora? Try that. Why hora? Hey, you too, Bill. Come on, no party poopers here. Let's try that again. Why hora? Why hora? Kia tu taki tahi ana. Kia tu taki tahi ana. Kia fezu. Come on, you lot. Bill's got to rest. I'm fine. It's just a grace. You should rest. And I'm going to. Since you're working, I thought I'd hire a boat and take off for a few days. Where to? Just lazing about down south. Can we come too? Lucianne? Of course. Dennis has promised to lend us some camping gear, so if you'd like to see some penguins... Oh, yes, please. I see. Well, no serious interest. Uh, thank you. Bye. You should have let me waste the poem. Then have the place swarming with British agents like a bunch of angry bees. Patience. Mr. Cunningham will fall into our hands eventually. And when he does, 
Whammo. You have such a way with words. It may have been an accident, Sir George, but we're having the tires checked. Yes, well, you can't be too careful with Perez around, Gunningham. No. That's why I've hired the boat. Thought I'd get away for a spot of fishing. What sort of boat is it? It's called the Lucky Star. Lovely little cruiser. And when are you off? Later this afternoon. I'd better get on. You'll be on the mobile if I need to get in touch, won't you? Of course. But remember, I am on holiday, Sir George. Bye. The Lucky Star. Lucky for some, eh, Mr. Perez? Not for Senor Cunningham. You must be crazy going for a rest with this lot. We won't let him lift a finger. I'll hold you to that, young lady. I wish you could come along. So do I, but there's so much to organize with the exhibition. Well, we'll get out of your hair and let you get on with it. Have you spoken too soon? It's Cunningham. Dennis, hi. Oh, when? OK, I'll be right there. I'm afraid you'll have to go without me. Oh, no! I won't be long. Dennis is coming to pick me up. Ali, could you take the kids to the boat and I'll meet them there? When? I'm not sure. Here, take the mobile so I can let you know. I'll be there soon. You'd better be. I've got an appointment at the museum. No problem. Oh, the boat's called the Lucky Star. On a beach. Discovered him yesterday. Not like Perez. He's usually very careful. Perhaps they wanted us to know. Could be a warning. We killed Frano. Keep off, you'll get the same. We better go through his files again. See if he left any clues. <laughs> Bye, Dinah. Bye, Lucian. Sorry I can't stay. Now you two don't wreck everything before Bill arrives. When's he coming? Any time now. I wish you could come too, Aunt Ellie. So do I, but I can't, Lucian. I've got to get back. I'm supposed to be at the museum in ten minutes. Now, make sure you're all in bed by ten o'clock. Promise now? And please behave for Bill. If he's going to be our dad, he's got to get used to us, Mum. Philip, now promise. All right. I'll keep them in order. We could bring you on Bill's mobile. You're sure you'll be OK? Yes. Yes. Bye. See ya. Have a good time. Bye. Bye. That's that guy from the hotel. Tiffalon. Oh, do you think he's been following us? Who'd want to follow you? He's acting pretty suspiciously. Boys always have to make a mystery out of everything. I know. More. That's the lot. One, two, three, four. I, I declare, declare a pinnacle wall. I will go! Villa, Jack, dishes. Oh, please survive! Please survive! That guy's leaving. Trip along. Philip playing James Bond will not get you out of the washing up, you know. I wish Bill would hurry up. It'll be getting too dark to sit off soon. I just don't like leaving a case like this when a man has been killed, Dennis. There's nothing else you can do. You've given us some good leads. Not enough to pin down Perez with. We're very grateful, Bill, but we don't want you sticking your neck out, especially with those young kids around. You just take a break for a few days, OK? And bring me back some water home. What a what? <laughs> Any fish that's edible.
Bill? Hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. Is everything all right? Fine. Now, you lot get some sleep. Tomorrow we'll be on Penguin Island. Are we going now? Yes. As promised, we'll be there by the morning. Are there really penguins on Penguin Island? Yes, lots. And us till the weekend. <laughs> Good night. Night. Tracking him for hours. Perhaps he knows more than he is telling anyone. Just another fool like the last one, trying to make a reputation. Cunningham already has a reputation, and he is no fool. We'll have to turn Viper back. No. Leave everything as it is. But if he sees the drop, he'll tell us people. No. Cunningham is very thorough. He'll investigate first. And when he does, we'll be there with a reception committee. Right. Just the sort of party I like. Can I have a go at driving, Philip? It's called steering, Lucien, not driving. Can I have a go at steering, then? Yeah, OK. What do I do now? Keep the needle pointed there. Is that all? Yeah. What if there's a rock or something? Or a whale? Well, there aren't any rocks out here. And the whales will get out of your way. They know you're steering. A plane. He's low. Sleep. 